Today we're going to take apart this HP Pavilion Slimline uh, S3000 series, the 3220N PC in this particular case is going to be almost identical to any of the S3000 series in terms of the internal components and how to take everything apart. <clears throat> the reason I'm making this video is because every other video I found was just wrong. So <laughs> and, and, and that bugs me. So the first thing, there's two halves to this basically. So this half that has the riveted on sides stays put and then this half that has these three screws is what comes off. And this is just a number two screwdriver. And this one, the hard drive failed on it and I already swapped out the hard drive, but I wanted to make this video while I had everything powered off and pulled apart. So here's the lid piece, it just comes off. And when you're redoing these things, you want to look at all these vents and look for stuff like that and get that stuff wiped off. So once you have the cover off, um, most of the components are pretty obvious. This is the CD drive. This is the little, yeah, what do they call it? Pocket media drive bay. Uh, these are all standard SATA connections. This is actually like a little USB connection. A little, uh, what is that, PCI card? CPU and the fan, and all of this stuff obviously needs cleaned up. It's uh, pretty dirty in there. But what we're gonna focus on is a hard drive swap. And all the videos I watched were frustrating because they were all wrong. <laughs> all you need to do to get to this stuff you can pull the power off here and it's got two little connector or squeeze buttons in there and then there's a tab down here and you push on it and the end of that one broke off on me because I was thinking you needed to pull it out but you push on it to lift that up out of the channel and then this just slides back and it's kind of a pain but it comes right out. You don't need to unscrew any of this to get it out. And everybody was saying you needed to. Everybody was saying you try to need to get to this screw and this screw to get that piece out. And uh, <laughs> as you can see, you kind of need to move that piece to get to that screw or this one or that one. This one allows the hard drive bay to slide out. You can pull that out and then this little tab pulls on there, but you wanna make sure the cables are pulled off first. This just, this just retains the data clip there. So flop that up, pull that up and get that out of the way, pull the power. The power has to stay down because it's routed through the bottom of the hard drive there. And then you can pull up the tray. And then there's the four standard screws on the hard drive bay there and it's got little pressure clips on either side of it so you pull that off swap out another hard drive this one's already swapped out originally it's 500 gig on this particular model and this is a one terabyte so you can swap that out push down your power there so it doesn't get kinked up when you slide it back in slide that back in Takes a little bit of finesse to keep that power out of the way and not jamming in there. Slide that in. So the other part of this is the CD-ROM drive is just this one screw. So you pull that out, and then there's this tab piece. So this can't get out when the front bezel is on there. So there's clips here. This one's broke off from being overused. But that one, you pinch them together. This one, it's basically the same thing. You pull that out. And there's another clip down here that you gotta push on. And you can pop that out. So once you get that front bezel off, which this is just 
for aesthetics, really. It's got the little uh, panels for everything in there. Creates a nice little shroud for the card reader. And then you can pop that out. It slides out. You can see the connectors back here. Um, you should pull those out manually and then pull them out. And this has the two slots on the side there that that hooks into. So you'll have to do that twice. But there's no need to pull apart any more than what we did in order to get to the hard drive. Um, maybe you want to swap this out. These things almost never go bad, but whatever. Now you know. It was just for informational purposes. But pulling this does, pulling that out, does make it so you can get to the RAM. Which a lot of people probably want to upgrade on these things because it's what? Two gigs? And this is some generic two gig DDR. I don't know if it's going to focus on that. Focus. Focus. Maybe? No. Anyway, it's. Uh, two gigs of DDR2, and I got a bunch of two gig sticks, so we can upgrade that to four gigs of DDR. We'll go ahead and do that while I'm in here. And otherwise, everything just needs cleaned. So that's pretty much that. So I swapped out the one gig sticks for two two gig sticks. Um, generally you want to check and make sure the motherboard will support that, but I did that ahead of time. So once we got everything taken care of in there that we're going to mess with, slide that back into place, reconnect the power and data. Need to put this screw back in there to make sure this isn't sliding around. Good. Put this screw back in to make sure the hard drive case isn't sliding around. And then route this back under here for the hard drive data. Make sure the power is plugged in. Those are in there good. This has three channels. So this is a channel here, this is a channel here and there. Uh, and those all slide in. Put down that data connection, get that into place down to those channels. Right. Slide that in until it clicks. Reconnect this uh, little bay power. Make sure that's in there. Replace the bezel. And this just slides back in to where it was. Good. And I cleaned out the case already. So just give it a once over. Make sure none of the wires are running into fans. Put the case back on. Put this up. And then put the screws back in. Pretty quick and easy. Thank you.